Dear students, today we shall be discussing on McEwen's triangle or supramental triangle, which is very commonly asked questions both in practicals and theory in final ENT examination. McEwen's triangle is the surgical landmark for mastery antrum. The mastery antrum lies around 1.5 to 2 cm deep to the triangle in adults but some textbooks even mention it's 1 cm deeper. What are the boundaries of McEwen's triangle? The boundaries are the superior boundary being the posterior prolongation of upper border of root of zygoma. You can see here this is the zygoma, this is the root and this is the posterior prolongation of the upper border of the root of zygoma. Some textbooks even mention the supramastery crest, this is the supramastery crest or the inferior temporal line as the upper boundary of McEwen's triangle. So if you are asked in the exam about the upper boundary, you can mention posterior pudding is of root of zygoma, supramastoid crest or inferior temporal line. The most important shall be posterior pudding is of upper border of root of zygoma, this one. The second boundary is the posterior superior bony canal wall. You can see this is the canal wall bony canal wall and this is the posterior superior bony canal wall makes the anterior inferior boundary of McEwen's triangle. Then posteriorly being the vertical tangent drawn from the posterior margin of the bony external artery meatus to the first line that is posterior prolongation of root of zygoma. So this is the McEwen's triangle. So if you go deeper around 1.5 to 2 centimeters here you will find out the mastery antrum. Sometimes you think that the mastery antrum has come more superficially then you have to think of corner septum. This is very important practically. So if you suppose that the mastery antrum is lying more superficial, the dome of lateral semicircular canal is the medial portion or medial boundary of the mastery antrum. So if you don't see it then don't believe that antrum has come this, that is the corner septum which is the persistent pterotympanic fissure. Next, the editus lies posterior part of the antrum. Therefore, if you could not find the editus or if the probe does not go towards the editus, you will be sure that this is not the true master antrum. Third, if you have true master antrum, then if you put some water from external artery canal or the middle layer and if you put a suction here, the water will be suctioned out even from the master antrum. Okay, therefore, if the water is not suctioned from the external artery canal, then you think that either the address is not patent or the antrum is not the true antrum. Therefore, three important things find out the true antrum. One is if you can see the dome of lateral semicircular canal. Next, if you can pass a probe towards the address, anterior superior part of the master antrum. Third, if you keep water in the master antrum and the external artery canal or mid layer, if you keep a suction cannula and that cannula can suck out the water from the master antrum. These are three important things which define that you are in the master antrum. What is master antrum? Master antrum is the largest and most consistent air cell of the master air cell system. What is the significance of master antrum or significance of Mason strangle to find out the master antrum? Master antrum till now is most of the times approached from outside through McEwen's triangle. Although you can go from inside out technique during master surgery, most commonly practiced technique till now is the out to in approach from where first you will drill out the master cortex and find out the master antrum. Therefore, there is still significance of McEwen's triangle. Thank you. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and videos if you find this class useful to you.